Hey guys, welcome to Gaming and Console Tech. I am Ash, and this is my review of the PSP. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a very, very pretty machine. With that said, it almost looks retro in its design, even for its time. The back, it's still got that retro feel with its bulges and its silver ring and its silver writing with PSP on the back. The real design flaw is the UMD drive. It really is clunky and silly to use. The thing that isn't silly to use is the interface. It's exactly like you'd find on a PlayStation controller, literally the same controls. And on the bottom, you've got your audio jack, the little vents that are speakers, and then also a power in so you can charge the device as well. On the top of the device, you have shoulder buttons, you have an eject button for your UMD drive, an input for a camera, and also an infrared port. As for using the device, it's very, very easy to handle. That being said, I did have a few issues with the shoulder buttons, but that's just because of plainly my big hands. Other than that, I had no issues whatsoever using the device. The issue is the screen. It is always exposed, so you will need a case if you're going to chuck it in a bag or a pocket. There you go guys, my review of the PSP. If you like what you saw, give it a like. If you can subscribe, that'd be awesome as well. In the meantime, why not go to Facebook and Twitter? Gaming and Console Tech on Facebook and at Retro Gaming 2009 on Twitter. I shall put the names here. And in the meantime, guys, I shall see you guys in a little while. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.